Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Jay Kane. For those of you who don't know, I am student number nine and I'm also the club Yuhitsu, which is the secretary. So uh, as with all Anthony's videos, we always promote a book. Uh, today's book I'm gonna be promoting is because where I've got some of the information from is Ninja Skills. Uh, it's available now, so go out and get it if you're a fan of the ninja. So today's video actually came about while I was researching and a different idea for a video. And the idea was matching a horse collar to the rider's element. And in book one, which is the red one here, on page 181, Isui Sensei says, know the creative and destructive cycles, and then basically goes on and starts matching the color. And I was like, ah, does everyone know this? Is this something that should be a part of our training. So for anyone who doesn't know, we have two cycles. We have a creation cycle and we have a destruction cycle. Um, they are also called the Sosei and they are called the Sokoku or they are called the life and the death cycle. So I'm gonna show you pictures up here now of the life cycle or the creation cycle and also the destruction or the death cycle or the overcoming cycle. So for anyone who knows uh, information about the, uh, the five elements or the five phases, whichever we want to call it, or the two cycles, I'm, I apologize for this, but uh, we're going to be going over the basics of it. So for anyone who doesn't know or has having a starting point on the esoteric side of warfare. Okay, so we're going to start off talking about elements first before we go on to the cycles. The elements, in our school, Isui Sensei says that everything has a core element to it. So we're talking people, we're talking places, we're talking times, we're talking directions. Basically, everything has a core to it. Okay, so at a starting point, let's go way, way back in history. In the beginning of the universe, there was a single chi, and in and yo came from this, and they became the five elements. And these elements revolve, flowing while merging and splitting. Okay, so from that, we're going to go, I'm going to start looking at some of the cycles, which obviously has all the five elements in it. The first one we're going to look at is the life cycle or the creation cycle. Now, there's an order that we do it in, and the reason we do it in is it's called a mutual generating cycle. And the cycle goes like this. It goes from wood to fire to earth to metal to water, right? Okay, and the other cycle is the destruction cycle or the death cycle, the overcoming cycle, and in the order that we do this is classed as a mutual overcoming cycle, right? And it goes like this, it goes wood, earth, water, fire, metal. Okay, so now we're gonna look at why the order is like it is or why it goes from wood to fire and from fire to earth. So, you can follow along on page 177 in Ninja Skills. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the creation cycle. And the creation cycle goes like this. Wood fuels fire. Fire produces ash and enriches the earth. Earth contains and produces metal. Metal collects water and water nourishes wood. Okay, so there's a small disclaimer here that we're talking about these five elements. I just wanna make it clear that these are not actually, a, it's not a piece of wood. It's not physical fire. It's not, like, it's not a piece of metal, like a bucket or anything like that. It's basically, it's a, tr a transference of chi and it's basically all about energy and they phase between each other and they're transferred to each other. So. Don't think of it as in, oh, you're the wood element, that means you like a tree or something like that. That is just basically, it's that's you have wood energy or you have earth energy or fire energy. Okay, so next we talk about the destruction cycle and this is the mutual overcoming cycle. So let's go through what, uh, what happens here. Wood churns up the earth, earth soaks up water, water extinguishes fire, fire melts metal, and metal hacks at wood. Okay, so now that we know this information, how can we actually use it, right? So first of all, if you wanna go into the complex side of it, you can look in uh, the, the Book of Samurai 1 and 2. They talk about horse hair, and like the color of your horse to the elements of your rider. They talk about the banner pole. The banner pole is such a complex little ritual, which we'll do in another video, um, and hopefully somewhere, somewhere in the world, someone can actually sort of go and do this. So this is also about lucky and unlucky directions, which we have touched on in a previous video, but that's for future things. 
Okay, so what should you do now? First of all, you need to find out what element you are, right? Uh, there's, there's ways to do it. Um, if you're interested in learning the old traditional way of finding out how to do it, comment below, say that you want, uh, you want to find out, and I'll do a video just on that subject. There's obviously apps, and you can go on the internet, you can find out what element am I. It goes on your birthday, and also the time that you were born, and then you can find out your element. Okay, so a quick example. Uh, once you find out your element, start, start finding associations sorry, uh, of good and bad elements around you. Now, obviously, you can find out what elements certain objects are or what times are or directions are, but people is probably the easiest one to find out. You find out the, like the date of birth and the time of birth, and then you work it out from there. Now, an interesting example is I am the element of fire, right? So I know where I am in the creation and the destruction cycle. And another interesting fact is Anthony, the boss, is the element of earth. So uh, I do a lot of work for Anthony. Uh, we do a lot of his books together. I do all the illustrations for his books. I've done some of his book covers. Uh, I do his website and I do a lot of work behind the scenes where you would probably not even know he was being done. Um, so basically, fire is enriching um, earth. So obviously I am in the career, I am sort of like mutually generating Anthony. And another interesting fact, Yoshie, one of the translators of the Book of Samurai 1, is also the element of fire. So it makes a lot of sense. Now another interesting fact is I know that Andrew, the Jodai, is the element of wood. And wood comes before fire, so he generates and he helps me. So it's it's quite an interesting like concept. And you start finding out about other people. And I know in our household, who's what? And the interesting fact is my son is water, so he does something to me. Well, that's quite funny. Okay, so that is just covering some of the basics of it. If you'd like another video where we go to more depth of just the elements themselves, then uh, again, comment below and just sort of get, get in touch with us and let us know that that's of interest to you. Um, before I leave you with that, I just wanna let you know that if you're interested in the esoteric side um, and you are a notorious student, there is the Gumbai course. It was written by myself with the help of uh, Anthony Cummins, the boss, and also with the help of the Jodi. There are many other courses as well. Um, some of this information is vital for the Shinobi. Um, and basically, if you look in the Bansen Shukai, this is there, the creation cycle and the destruction cycle of both are in the Bansen Shukai. Um, there's also a course available for anyone who's interested as Shinobi no Jitsu uh, level one at the moment. So obviously get in touch with the Jodai. Obviously you need to be a student, so you need to have passed the foundation. Uh, if you haven't, get on the foundation, it's great anyway. And uh, thank you very much for your time. And comment below what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to know more of. And I've been Jay Kane. Thank you very much.